Uh, somebody want to fetch Randy? We don't have uh, Randall. I don't want to waste time here. Oh, look, look how quick he was. Today. Oh, he's wow. ready. Wow, he's Randy. Ready. Ready to eager. Roast. Nice job, Randy. Must Take your time a... plugging in your headphones. Yeah, That's cool. Yeah. Must have done that during the commercial break. Well, it's in a different spot every time. Oh, so. wait. Oh, yeah. But it's far away from where he... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Get it. <laughs> You're making me feel a lot less bad about this. Oh. Getting. <laughs> you guys. It's a defense. Oh, just keep on poking Randy. the bear. You can yeah. get it. <laughs> Getting. Yeah. Hi, Randy. <laughs> hey, good morning, guys. All right, so What's up, today Rand? is uh, Randy's Thanksgiving roast. Ooh. This is uh, the first time he's doing this where he's going to be roasting each person on the show. <laughs> we deserve um, it. And uh, and this is his chance. I mean, we told him, like, hey, man. Go for it. No holds barred. You know, you just get to, you just get to go for it. I didn't want him to puss out. Like, you know, I thought that he might puss out with like Ravy or yeah. with Menace. Like, because he does the Nerd Now podcast mm-hmm. with Ravy. He yep. does, you know, Menace's podcast or whatever. And so he may think that he's somehow jeopardizing something. Not oh, at all, no. Randy. He's I always think paranoid about def- that stuff. Definitely with Ravy, not with me, though. Let me get my I, Kleenex. I, I, <laughs> I rip him all the time. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, Menace treats him like crap already. So oh, I'm sure Randy's looking forward to this. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, Randy, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. So Randy's Thanksgiving roast. Are you just gonna like kind of randomly go around the room, or are you gonna do one person at a time? So each person has a segue joke that leads into the next person. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. oh very nice. Yeah. Well done. It was nice. fun. This was a, this was a little bit fun coming up with this. Okay. I'm so happy to be here, guys, for the first ever Randy's Smooth. Thanksgiving roast. Nice. Yeah. Miss Renee Ravy is here. Hi, Ravy. Oh, my How God. Are you? Yes. Yes. Ravy. Hi, Ravy. Hey. Yeah, there she is. Ravy, as we all know, is a nerd. Some view it as charming, others as perhaps a cry for help. The closest Ravy has ever gotten to getting into Hogwarts was when she let a hog covered in warts get in her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ravy, you know, you're into magic. Why don't you do us all a favor and uh, cast a spell that'll make your laugh disappear forever? Oh! Whoa! Jeez, Randy! You know, know, Ravy, they say things ripen with old age, but what happened to you? You've aged like milk. Ravy is so old, she used to gamble at Caesars when Caesar was still alive. Oh! And you know what? I one. was I was genuinely wow. worried. I was worried Ravy would not make it to the would not make it to the roast. Ravy, you're a gambling person. What's the over uh, under on you making it to 2022? I'd like oh, to get oh, oh, yeah. Damn. That is age shaming, Randy. Now wow. Ravy, now Ravy, you're moody, desperate yes. to stay relevant. Yes. And if you gain any more weight and cut your hair, you'll be menace. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Speaking of people is, desperate, is that me or Max? Oh, well, that's, that's a good road trip. Yeah. 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 I know. Yeah, speaking yeah. Of, a speaking yeah. of people desperate to not be forgotten, little buddies here. Oh, hey. the same hey, way into men. What's here, up? Guys. Hi. Hey. 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 Good to see you. What's little, up, little buddy? Even though there's nothing little about you, the only little menace has left is how little he has to go before he's too heavy to go on roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of snug. You know, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Menace, Kim Kardashian, and Amber Rose all have something in common. They're all out of touch pandering narcissists who are sluts for Kanye West. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> You know, you know, Menace, I don't know what's more sad. The fact that you can't read a book or the fact that you can never read the room when they're laughing at you. Oh! oh. I could read that. Oh. Menace, oh. Menace is like a Make-A-Wish kid who actually made it to C40. Menace, if you tried any harder to be younger, you might end up on an FBI watch list. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Damn, wow, guys. Randy. But guys, but guys, guys, Menace is from them streets, the streets. It wasn't always easy for him. Growing up, Menace lived in a fairly tough neighborhood. It wasn't easy being the only white kid. He got beat up by a lot of Mexican kids. So much so that his scrambled brain has now convinced him he is one. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but you know what? Menace, you delusional sea cow. I tried not to spend yes. too much time poking at your weight because you've actually lost weight. Congratulations, man. I figured I'd spend those jokes on the actual fatties on the show. Oh, no. Greg. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Greg Laurie's here. True. Oh, Hi, Greg. Wow. Greg, you, Greg. Greg, you said that you're a victim of the COVID-19 weight gain. I have to ask, what caused the other 50? People, people ask, Ray, are you going to apologize to Greg for all the mean things you're going to say? I said the only things I'm sorry for are your belt, your knees, and that small swivel chair you sit on. <laughs> Yeah, it's tough. You know, 
Cameron Cameron has a degree in TV and radio, which yeah. is about as, as useful as Greg buying shirts in the size he thinks he fits in. <laughs> Hey, Greg, maybe if you stopped shopping for shirts at the Kid Gap, then you wouldn't look like a tube of Jimmy Dean sausage. Oh, <laughs> but you know what? But you know what? But you know what? But you know what? Greg is a lot like a hardware store. He's big, old, and full of Mexican men. Oh, yeah. That is true. Wow. Wow. You know what? Although Greg won't admit it, I'm actually here fulfilling one of his biggest sexual fantasies. The one where a brown guy craps all over him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? But you know what? But you know what? <laughs> on the theme of Greg, you know what Cameron and a wine cellar have in common, Greg? What? They both have Greg in them on a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron. Yeah. Uh, Cam oh, Shaft. Oh, hey, hey, Cameron's here. Hey, good to hey, see you, Cameron. <laughs> the often forgotten one of the show. 2020 has been a tough year. I think we can all agree on that. We've dealt with the pandemic. We've lost major celebrities. And Cameron, unfortunately, is on the mic more. <laughs> I mean, Cameron came to Hollywood for stardom. It's just a shame he doesn't have a face for entertainment or the voice or the personality or the look. Cameron actually has a podcast with his wife called Mostly True Opinions, and the only true opinion about it is that it sucks. Oh, <laughs> Let's throw, it back. Let's throw it back to an old school kind of joke, Cameron. Cameron okay. walks into a bar. The bartender goes, oh, my God, you're Cameron from The Woody Show. We have a drink named after you. Cameron goes, you have a drink called Untalented and Sexually Confused? <laughs> Cameron, you insufferable dork. You look like Fro Don't. Your teeth, your teeth look like they're God. fighting to see which one can escape your mouth first. That is true. Oh. Uh, oh, man. Now, Woody, Woody loves Chris Hansen, and it makes sense because they both have something in common. They attract predators, which explains why Seabass is here. Oh, hey. Hey. Seabass is here, guys. Hey, hey. Seabass. Yeah. All right. Seabass, Seabass, Seabass often talks about how he only goes after eights and nines, when really he's not talking about their rate. He's referring okay. to their age. Oh, get it. Oh, get it. Get it. <laughs> You know what? Seabass yeah. is Nashville's own. He's made everyone proud back home, too. Going as far as earning Tennessee's highest honor, his cousin's hand in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> now, Seabass, you are oh. Cardnarks. I got to ask you, you get lots and lots of hits on your videos. What's the most you've gotten, probably? Like, ballpark estimate. Uh, a few hundred thousand. Well, probably a few million, actually. A few million? Wow. Yeah. That's almost as many hits as the ones you deal to your secret boyfriend so that he doesn't out you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ouch. I keep telling C <laughs> I keep telling Seabass he ought to maybe consider giving Judaism a try, not because I think he'd be a good fit for the religion. I just think at this point a yarmulke is the only real way to cover that ball. <laughs> <laughs> Take Jeff. And now, oh, yeah. and now to Woody. Oh. Oh, the boy. grand and poobah, the man. How do you write a joke about a person who's the biggest joke of them all? Oh. 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 Woody, the most exercise you do is when you run away from reality. That reality being, you'll never be Howard Stern. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, Woody often talks about himself and depression, but no one ever asks about his wife and how depressing it must be when she's got a 300-pound slob lying on top of her. <laughs> it's, hey, I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. It's not, it's, it's not all sad, though. Woody always oh makes God. the holidays really special for all of us, but personally, my favorite thing he does for the holidays is when he gets lowered in time score to bring in the new year. Yeah. <laughs> Why the now, ball's bent. Yeah. <laughs> now, Woody has great calves. Arguably, no, no doubt, probably the best I've ever seen. He's got great calves. He does. I can't tell if that's from carrying his massive guts or from carrying the show for so many years. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, that was at all of us, Randy. What the hell? You know hell? what? Yeah. The Friars Club slogan as a guide is we only roast the ones we love. Oh, babe. If there's anything you guys do better than underpaying me, using me for things you're too cowardly to do, and overwork me, is be a friend and a mentor. Thanks for taking the time to let me be a part of the show and for adding some color to an industry that's about as diverse as a Canadian hockey team. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Randy! It's Randy! Oh, oh my god! Fantastic. That was so good. Oh, thanks, guys.
the best thing you've ever done, Rand. Right? Right, so good. I agree. Oh, oh my god. This is really fun. More of that. You nailed that. Randy, you oh, overachieved, thanks. my friend. Oh, thanks, Great. guys. I appreciate it. That was fantastic. I appreciate it. That being said, all jokes aside, I will admit, for people who are comedians and have to write jokes, this is incredibly difficult. Yeah, but so see, now hard. if you're a comedian, you could have taken you could take those jokes and tore it on them for a whole year. Yes. Oh, I know. Yeah. Good, Randy. Yeah, doing the same jokes every <laughs> I mean, night for a whole year. That was funnier so good. than Sebastian Maniscalco. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Dude, quite the accomplishment. Congratulations. There's Randy's Thanksgiving roast, hey. everybody. Hey. Nicely done, buddy. I think for sure this has to be an annual oh thing. God. So good. So, so good. great. It's probably gonna take me about a year to come up with more jokes. Who heard this crew? The Woody Show returns in a second.